How's it going gang? It's the final render here and welcome back to Fallout 4 Vanilla Survival. This is part 11 this video and we got some exciting things we're going to get done today. We're going to finally make some progress and actually progress the story a little bit today because what we are going to do is first thing we are going to actually go and unlock Ballistic Weave. I said we were going to do it in the last video but I forgot that there was actually an extra step in order to unlock Ballistic Weave and that is we need to do this quick little radiant mission. Jackpot. Ruined Skyscraper. Secure a DIA cache. We can do that bring it back to the railroad and then we can get ballistic weave which will give us a lot more armor resistance really worth it when you play in survival mode makes things much much easier and then after that we are going to be doing the get a clue mission where we go and track down and kill Kellogg we're gonna get it done because if we actually get Kellogg dead not only does it progress the story quite a lot the main story but it means the Brotherhood of Steel turn up which means in the next episode we might actually be able to take on Fort Strong and unlock the Vertebird signal grenades which means we can essentially have fast travel in the game it's not exactly fast travel you know you've got to throw a grenade fly there and you've got to pay for those you know, signal grenades but it does mean that we can travel around a lot safer and a lot easier so therefore that's what we're going to do today. Great progress overall. Let me just go and uh, put the correct glasses on. I noticed earlier on I was wearing the uh, fashionable glasses. That's not what we want. And I do want to say to everyone, thank you very much for everyone who's been tuning into the Fallout 76 Permadeath series. That's been going really well. We've had two episodes go out and at the time of recording, episode three is uploaded and ready to be released in a few hours after time of recording. You guys would have already seen it when this video that you're watching right now goes out. And the series has been going really good. People have been really enjoying it. And because of that, and because I have so much of that series kind of recorded and ready to go, then I'm actually going to be making some adjustments to the timetable. How it's going to work now is that every Wednesday and Sunday at 8.30 BST, we will have an episode of Fallout 76 Permadeath. And this series you're watching now, Fallout 4 Vanilla Survival, that is going to be pushed onto Fridays at 8.30 BST. The reason I'm doing that is because with Fallout 76 Permadeath, I kind of want to be relevant in terms of the game's updates and stuff like that, because Fallout 76, it changes very regularly, you know? So therefore, I want to make sure I am up to date and relevant with that, but also because I just have a lot of it bulked up and ready to go, and it's taken up a lot of memory on my hard drive, so therefore, it would be expedient to actually get it out quicker. Well, obviously, that makes sense. It would be expedient. You know what I mean? It would be better to get it out in a more expedient fashion. That's what I wanted to say, but I'm a moron and it's early. But uh, it also means that, oh that's pretty, but it also means that we can actually get this series out pretty regularly and consistently as well on Friday. That's good for me in terms of a timetable. Because unlike Fallout 76, oh hello. What are you lot doing there? Ooh. Are you traders or are you raiders or something? I don't remember who you guys are. Oh, I don't remember. Hello. You look like you could use a little pick me up. Oh, she's a vendor. She's a she's a chem vendor. Oh, okay. Uh, let, let's do some trading and see what she's actually got. I had a little bit of a little bit of a panic attack there because I didn't remember who this person was. But uh, yeah, let's start selling some ammo. Take all of her caps off of her. But the other thing I wanted to say as well is that with this series, this series is always recorded and then uploaded pretty much straight away. You know, I'm recording this on Wednesday at this moment, and it will be uploaded on Friday. Whereas Fallout 76, I'll typically record like two or three episodes at once. And get it out that way. So maybe I should actually do that with this series as well. Maybe I should actually go ahead and record them ahead of time. Make myself have a little bit of an easier time. You know what I mean? Okay. I think we have to go across this bridge to get to where we're going. Like we've got good neighbor around that corner over there. And then there's this bridge. Hmm. Let's maybe just go this way first. Just to double check. I don't like going across that bridge over there. It's full of raiders and there's lots of cars that can blow up and stuff like that. It's generally pretty dangerous. But is this a viable way to go as well? I honestly don't remember this side quest really. I, I should because, you know, it's important to remember this kind of stuff. Oh, hello lads. Okay. Uh, you're just a regular old ghoul, aren't you? So let's see if we can get you with a... Uh, see if we get you with a deliverer actually. Get you with a deliverer. Get some criticals banked up and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, I don't remember exactly how to get to this place. I don't really remember exactly what you got to do. So we've got to be careful here. There we go. Let's get lots of critical shots on this dude. Okay, there we go. We're almost up to a second critical. And there appears to be more of you. Or oh, even better. Come on then, let's get some more of you. i got a feeling we're just going to keep the Deliverer and always use it. Even if we never invest any more points into pistols. Just because you can get lots of shots on target and always bank up a critical. It's a fantastic gun in that sense. But even if you're 
you know, just going ahead and use it as an actual pistol build, it's probably your best bet as well. Unless you want to get like a really decent 44 revolver or something like that. Or one of the single action revolvers from Nuka World. But if you just want it for farming crits like we do, it's an absolute godsend. Oh, we've got doggies and stuff over there. Let's go and deal with them ahead of time. Uh, we really do need to get some more points in the rifleman. Right now, we've got this rifle, which is actually pretty good, if I remember correctly. But, unfortunately, it's just not doing that much damage right now. Its legendary effects are good, though. It's lucky, so it means it'll be really good if we use a critical shot on someone. But we just need to get more base damage with them. I think that would be a good thing overall. Oh, I hear mutants. Hello, mutants. Where are you, sausages? With your pickle fingers. Well, they're right up close to each other. They look like they're going to kiss. Oh. Get that one there. And now let's get you with a headshot there. All right, maybe I should actually go and use a critical one because it's not very good odds, is it? There we are. I mean, I don't mind using criticals really in this game. I mean, I know it makes sense to save them for an important scenario and stuff like that, but eh, that's why you invest in critical banker, isn't it? So you can use them a bit more freely. We do need to get some more critical banker perks. Right, so our objective is there. And it's called, the actual mission is to do with the skyscraper, isn't it? The actual mission name. Ruined skyscraper. So maybe this fire escape is a way we can get up. Let's check it out. I love the way that I look at this building. Frames. Look at this. No frames. <laughs> I mean, it's amazing the city runs in any hardware. You know, never mind the fact that it ran on PlayStation and Xbox 360. PlayStation 3, I mean. Pretty darn impressive that, ooh, look at this. Oh, this is too good an opportunity, isn't it? This is too good an opportunity. Alright, uh, let's get you right there. And you guys aren't as easy to hit. Oh, we're just hitting the railings, aren't we? I was worried about that. Let's uh, jump up there. Onto the railing. There we are. Now we should have a bit of an easier shot. Oh, he's moved off the gimp. Alright, well, we got one of them. Anyway, can we get another? Oh, right in the face. Right in the face hole. There we go. And we just need to finish him off there. Oof. Nicely done. Hang on. I've only got two th 308 bullets. Oh, boy. I didn't realize that. That's my only long-range silenced option. Yeah, I uh, I better be careful then. Because my only decent gun that, <laughs> that goes long-range is the Overseer Guardian. And that ain't silenced. Here we are, then. So inside this here skyscraper. Oh, hello! It's full of gunners! Mamma mia! Here I go again! Oh no! They are gonna eat my brains! Okay, we're alright. <laughs> we're okay. I didn't realise there were gunners in here. <laughs> alright. Well, we, we know that now. We know that now. Let's see if we can be all sneaky-beaky-like. And, like, creep around the corners and stuff. Alright, so it's not that way. Hmm. Is that a door? Oh, that, that's a door. Oh, sweet. Is this all we got to do? We're just going to go here. Oh, that's not that bad then, actually. I thought we'd have to have a big, long battle and stuff. Well, maybe we did if we went in violate the ground level, but we found the fire escape. I'm a moron. This isn't even where we're going, is it? Is, it, is that literally all there is? Have we done it? We have done it. Okay, well, I'm not complaining. Ooh, stealth boy. Yes, please. And there's a suppressed sniper rifle right there. Oh, man. Do you remember the last video? We actually bought, or we actually fixed up the uh, Tinker Tom special just so we could get the silencer. And there's just one here. Well, I don't know. Maybe it's not a guaranteed spawn. Is there anything else on that that might be useful for us to take, I wonder? It's got a medium quick eject mag and a long night vision scope. We're not too fussed about the scope. Long ported barrel as well. What have we got on this one? We've got a long light barrel on this one, and we've got a quick eject mag. Okay, well, this is still a good gun then, because we can take the magazine off, and we can take the barrel off and stuff, and we'll have an upgraded legendary sniper rifle. That's cool. So we don't have to go far to return that. We've just got to return it to the railroad HQ just down there. Uh, let's go the way we came. Oh, hello, we've still got a raider down there, haven't we? No, it's a monkey. And here, buddy, hop all the way to the birdie boiler. Right, so go back to Pam, hand that in, get Ballistic Weave unlocked, head back to base probably, see if we can actually weave up anything, and then we can have a good job. Why isn't there a Fallout 4 mod 
which adds Ballistic Weave onto wigs, called Ballistic Weave. Why isn't there? Come on, that's hilarious right there. Oh no, oh, oh, this is Fenway Hall, isn't it? Oh boy, this is dangerous. Lots of mutants. All right, uh, let's see if we can kill this guy quietly. Because in that hallway down there, that, that alley, there is a dude with a fat man. So, or a missile launcher. Uh oh. Okay, well he's dead. And now let's back off. I wasn't even sneaking. I wasn't even sneaking. I could have dealt with him in one shot. Oh, such a moron sometimes. Well, let's just back off then. Just back off, get out of the way. And then we'll be fine. Maybe I'll reload this thing just in case. So there was a hound which was alerted very much. Wait for the brackets to go bigger. I know caution is technically safe, you know, like it, but it's not completely safe, is it? I mean, they're aware of where I am. That is not 100% certain. Okay, we're hidden. Great. So that dog is now going to be going back to his initial post, isn't he? Good, good doge. Also, well, let's um get out of the way of that rubbish. Let's um sneak walk. I forget what the uh, is it caps? It's caps. Yeah, there we go. Because I realised this in the Fallout 76 permadeath was that I was sneaking, but I was sneak running, so therefore I was still making quite a bit of noise, you know, despite sneaking. But if I actually creep walk like this, then it's okay. I mean, on console, it's not really an issue because, you know, you just move the stick slower just by just by instinct. However, on PC, you actually need to hit a button to, to creep, don't you? All right, we're going to jump down. There might be a little bit of noise here. Oh, well, someone's fighting super mutants. I think some suicider. Some raiders have probably ruined that for us or something along those lines. Also got a door there, can't unlock that. That suicide is very close, but he doesn't know about me. There he is, that's him right there. We do have a crit. Can we get that guy's arm? It's his right arm, isn't it? 1%! Oh, we don't have a crit! Darn it. Okay, well, that's not gonna happen. I wonder if I have a grenade. I do have a grenade. If this works, I'll detonate all of them and it will be brilliant. Please work. Didn't quite work. I killed everyone except the suicider. Okay, you know what? Let's just try to aim his arm manually. Oh, it's all the junk that's in the way. Alright, let's just stand up for a second. Worth it. Worth it. Okay, <laughs> that went very wrong because of like the collision and stuff like that of that of all this metal rubbish in the way Let's detonate that truck Now we know it's safe <laughs> Seriously, my dad worked in EOD. He told me if there's a bomb Just blow it up from further away where you know you're safe. Oh, dude There we go good stuff good stuff. There we hey, are then. Hey, drummer, drummer boy, boy. No, it's, it's not. Your name is Garrus. Keep track of all the dead drops and grab incoming agents and tell them where they're needed. I don't suppose you want to switch places. N no. Sure. Hope you know how to use a minigun. Oh, and soak up bullets. Yeah. yeah, you heavies need a lot of punctuality and attention to detail, right? If so, I'm golden. We'll be seeing each other a lot. Thanks, Garrus. Excellent stuff. Oh, it's like two weeks away for the Mass Effect Legendary Edition. I just spoke to you. Go away. But yeah, really, really cool that that Legendary Edition has come out. Me and Psycho Girl are going to play on the big telly and the 4K and stuff like that. It's going to be really good. But here we are. Pam, how you doing, girl? There we go. All right. So we got that mission done. We got a good amount of XP. And what do we actually unlock in terms of equipment? We got the Covert Sweater Vest. Alright, so this is a full set of armor. It weighs two, gives us one charisma. That's really not very exciting. Okay, but thanks, I guess. I think the real prize is, if I understand correctly, if I haven't got it wrong again, then we should actually unlock Ballistic Weave now. Let's check it out. No, am I that... Am I this stupid? Am I really that dumb? Oh, what now? you signed on? Look, I am so legitimately confused about how to get Ballistic Weave after all now. Does Tinker Tom give it to me? 
But the creme de la creme is ballistic. Oh, okay. I gotta talk to Tinker Tom afterwards. Oh, thank heavens for that. I was starting to feel like the biggest moron on the face of the earth. What do you have in stock? It changes depending on. So, do I actually have that now then? Do I have ballistic weed? Tell me what you got. Take a look. Let's buy his 308 rounds, because we definitely need that. And look, now they are starting to sell ballistic weaved stuff. You know, like armoured sequin dresses, armoured surveyor outfits, and stuff like that. Deliver a powerful receiver. I must have sold that to him. Okay, well, that's great. Oh, I'm a moron. I do have it unlocked. You just can't add it to the vault suit. I honestly thought you could add ballistic weave to the vault 111 jumpsuit. Okay, I'm a moron then. So now I can actually add... Ballistic weave to like my fatigues and stuff like that. Pretty darn cool. I've only got one rank of um Oh no, I don't have any ranks of armor. Okay, well what I might do then, next time we level up, give myself a rank in armor. And then we can put at least ballistic weave rank two onto my suit, which is very good. And we also need to be on the lookout for a very specific hat. We need to be on the lookout for a battered fedora, because those can have ballistic weave fitted on them. The other ones can't, for some reason. It's like the only hats which can actually have ballistic weave. Makes no sense. But anyways, we'll get massive damage reduction with those on. Welcome back to Hangman's Alley, everyone. So I'd really like to see what I can do with the ballistic weave. Unfortunately, I actually need to go and do that in Diamond City. Because that's where there is actually an armor bench. I can't build an armor bench currently right now. I don't think so, anyway. Can I build an armor bench? Because, unfortunately, with the way, you know, like, local leader and stuff like that works. There's a perk and stuff. You can't actually build an armor bench inside yeah you need local leader two and i don't have local leader two i don't even have the gears for that matter so what we are gonna do is we are going to go and take all the stuff we could possibly need for it over to diamond city but we've got the ballistic fiber here we bought a shipment of ballistic fiber didn't we so let's just take 15 of them or so that'll be more than enough what else might we need we might need some leather that's probably something we'll need to take also some adhesive probably before I forget though, before I head off, we can also take off some of the mods on this, can't we? So we can get the medium quick eject mag, give that a, a medium magazine, onto my main gun. And there was also the barrel, wasn't there? Go and take those off, and then we can pop those onto this gun. So yeah, long light barrel, we now have a long light ported barrel, which really is not that much difference at all. It's pretty much non-existent but it gives you a bit better hit fire accuracy or something i believe all right so there we go that's on there and we also have a medium quick eject mag obviously the larger quick eject mag very very nice thing but you don't really need it if i'm entirely honest because you know it it's a sniper rifle you know how many bullets are you realistically going to need you know what i mean but anyways yeah. that's good let's get going hang on i don't have any purified water i forgot the water again I can't even look after myself in a virtual video game. As opposed to one that's real video games. <laughs> Here's the armor bench then, next to Diamond City Surplus. That dude could just get off it. I mean, you don't need it. Go on, get out of it. Go on, get. Let's see what we can actually make then. Let's give it a go. So we can actually add stuff to my dress as well, if we want to do that. You know, just in case I forget. But what do we need? I mean, I didn't bring any fiberglass or adhesive with me, did we? Alright, well, it's looking like we're going to have to buy some fiberglass and... And adhesive. That's very irritating that I forgot some of the most important things. What about the dress? It's probably the same, right? Yeah, it's all kind of the same stuff. You know what? It might just be easy to give myself rank 2 of... Uh, <laughs> it might be easy just to give myself rank 2 of local leader if I'm entirely honest so I can build them myself. That generally might be a better idea. Because I need more stuff. I need fiberglass and stuff like that. Alright, well... Let's go and talk to Nick. Here we go then. We've got Nick Valentine here talking to Ellie. Oh, isn't that fantastic? You know, I might actually just go and skip this for the sake of the video editing. Because there's nothing essential you need to see. It's just story stuff. And then we can get back to it once we're ready to hunt down Kellogg. So there we go then. We went and spoke to Nick Valentine. We told him about everything that happened in Vault 111. I mean, it's just kind of basic conversation. You know, it's pretty much always the same no matter what you do. So therefore, we can go and head out of here. But there was one thing which we did. Which is actually pretty important. And that is that... Over on this table, there is the case for, what was his name? Earl something, wasn't it? To where someone has gone missing. The Disappearing Act, Earl Sterling. Now, this is actually a very quick and easy quest to do. And we are very close to leveling up. Very close. So what I think we might do is actually do that mission first. And then see if we can deal with Kellogg. This is Earl Sterling's house then. And we need to find his key in order to get in. It's a novice lockpick. Do we actually have... 
the lockpick skill to do that. I don't think we do, do we? Or is novice just the just mean basic? Novice just means basic. Okay, well, let's wait for that guard to uh, walk away a little bit. Gotta be extra stealthy, dog of me. Extra stealth, papa. Okay, I think we're good. Right, so let's start picking this in. Boom, open says me. Job's done. So we're currently trespassing in Earl Sterling's house, but that's okay. So this dude just randomly went missing. And no one knows where he's been since. But we can actually find him pretty quickly, actually, if I remember correctly. We just gotta find the right evidence. Ah, what's this down here? A surgery receipt. Mega Surgery Center. Doc Crocker, resident surgeon. So, of course, we know who Doc Crocker is. Doc Crocker is the kind of plastic surgeon who lives in town. So this person who's gone missing could have had their face changed, couldn't they? Because they could have gone and got facial reconstruction surgery. So let's go check that out. So this is the mega surgery here where Doc Crocker always is. But it's expert locked. And it wants us to talk to old, um, this doc over here about it. Why don't we put on our charisma gear? Because we might genuinely need this to get through. Oh uh, yeah, so let's show him the receipt we found. Do you know anything about this receipt? Let me see. Hmm. This is Dr. Crocker's deplorable handwriting, all right. Looks like Earl Sterling was one of his patients. The procedure noted here is mundane. Low-risk cosmetic work. Dr. Crocker never performed it, however said Earl vanished before he paid. Anyway, we should get back to your immediate medical requirements. All right, well, I don't actually have any emergency medical treatments, but let's push him, you know. What do you know about Doc Crocker? Where is Doc Crocker? Last time I saw him, he had to get something out of the surgery cellar. Probably just had to wash some needles or move some storage around. Now, Whoa, wash let's get back to some talking needles. about your medical needs. It used to be the case, um, no, everything's fine, don't worry about that. It used to be the case that you would always wash needles and reuse them. Ugh. There's an awful lot of blood leading into the surgery center basement. Should try and find a way down there. Yeah, that's advanced lock, so I can't actually get in there. I don't have the lock picking for that. I'm pretty certain I don't anyway. Let's uh, just give it a Won't go. Yep, not this. a chance in that. So let's see. Docs, Dr. Sun, will you give me that key? Radiation poisoning is a common ailment. But we can cure just about anything. Uh, what about the blood? What's going on down there? Man? Care What's to going explain on? all this mm -hmm. blood leading to the cellar? Dr. Crocker must have tracked some fluids when he went down into the cellar. He's sometimes not as fastidious as I am between surgeries. Here, the cellar key. Go there we go. So yourself. he just gives you the cellar sure key. I think he can also going on here um, pick his medicine. pocket and get the key that way. But there we go. We got the key and we're very nearly, very nearly ranked up. So that's pretty exciting. But hey. Let's get down there, right? Oh, Earl. You've... You've really been a handful, you know. That's Earl. But I think we're just about done. Our little mistake is finally going to be corrected. Oh, naughty, naughty. You're not supposed to be down here. Oh, he's so creepy. It's okay. <laughs> I can fix that. I can fix anything. Uh... Where's Earl Sterling? What did you do to Earl Sterling, Doctor? What did I do? I, I didn't do anything. It was... Uh, it was Earl! It was Earl who didn't want to be happy! Good patients get a nice new face. Bad patients bleed all over the floor because they want to screw up their surgeon's life! Okay, uh, this is obviously very, very bad. Uh, how about we try to end this peacefully? You made a mistake. But you can still do the right thing, Doctor. Just think this through. You're hey, that You're worked. Right. There's one thing I can do. Only one thing is going to make this all better. Yes, you're going to hand yourself in. Anything. Or you're going to OD. Oh dear. What's yeah, going well, that's on? Yeah, but that's still alright. It'll be a closed casket funeral. Doc, I go. think you owe me an explanation. What happened here? I owe you an explanation? Friggin' you explain this. You owe me an explanation, Doctor. Your partner was cutting Earl Sterling up into oh, little pieces. Cutting him up into... Why would he? Oh, wait. The facial reconstruction surgery. If he really did go through with it, and it went badly... Dr. Crocker was willing to go that far to protect his yep. reputation? 
he was willing to kill someone rather than have like a bad review on Yelp, essentially. <laughs> so it's all done now. Well, it's over. That's that. It's over? The most well-respected surgeon in Diamond City is dead, his patient is in pieces, and all you have to say is, it's over? Yes. Well, what else am I gonna do? I guess it is. Huh. Yeah, job done. So yeah, we can no longer get the, um, I don't think we can get facial reconstruction surgery from him anymore, unfortunately. But of course, with some of the DLCs, then you're actually able to go and change your face anyway, so that's pretty good. But of course, we did level up in that, which is exactly what we wanted to do. Now, I did say I was going to put it into armor because it was like, oh, well, I can't do ballistic weave. But it turns out I could. I already could. I was just being a moron. See, maybe this is why I need to bulk record these videos. But we've got some options then. We can go for sneak two, which is really exciting, of course. So we can be ultra sneaky and stuff, which is great. Uh, we also have extra ranks of better criticals and also critical banker and even ninja, which would be really, really good. But then again... We've also got this, Rifleman 3. Rifleman 3 gives us extra damage with our rifles and we get armor penetration. Whereas the other ranks you didn't have that. So therefore, this might be a good one to pick right now. We are going to need to have some serious damage coming up for the battle. So how about we go for this? Unless it's something else that immediately jumps at me. I did say local leader 2. Because then I can build the workbenches and stuff like that at home. Which would genuinely be good. Because yes, I know you don't need it, but it would be really nice. If we could just build armor benches at home. You know what? Before I change my mind, boom. I know that's probably a bad and wasteful decision, but it's done now, so it's fine. <laughs> we definitely needed some gears, though, didn't we? In order to actually build our bench. So let's go and buy some more. There's a camera right there. That's got two in. I think we needed four more. See, he's got shipments of gears. That's really expensive, and I only need a couple of them. That's very annoying. I mean, I don't want to buy a shipment. That seems a bit wasteful. Let's just have a look around. Ah, here we go, right here. Becky was selling a battered fedora. This, I believe, is the only hat which can have ballistic weave on it. I don't know why, but that is the case. So we're gonna go and pick that up and we'll see. Does she actually have anything else really good? I mean, she does have some just genuinely nice sets of clothing, but she does have a hazmat suit. We will need that pretty soon. Unless I have one. I don't. There we go. Let's definitely pick up that hazmat suit. We'll need that for the glowing sea. And I presume she doesn't have any gears. No, of course not. It turns out that uh, the Diamond City Surplus Robot and Myrna don't have the same... They actually don't have the same pool of junk. Okay, so he had another camera. Brilliant. So that should be all I need now. But he's got anything else useful, just in case. Nope, he only had that other camera. But that should be... Good enough now. You know, oh, for God's sake. I'm over-encumbered with literally like one pound or something. Let's drink some bourbon and let's get back to base quickly. We're back then. We're back in Hangman's Alley. Let's see if we can make this armor bench then. Let's give it a go. Should be fine. All right, so open up the build menu. There we go. We can build the armor bench. Now, I know that's a bit of a waste of a perk because we could just walk over to Diamond City and stuff. But you know what? It's convenient, you know what I mean? You know, I, survival mode is long and tedious enough as it is sometimes with the constant back and forth and the traveling and stuff like that. So why don't we just give ourselves an armor bench? And it also means we can build the other benches too. We can build, you know, cooking benches and stuff. We can also build like power armor stations. Also the Nuka Cola machines. And some of these are actually really good when you go to Nuka World. So that's pretty exciting. But anyways, let's see what we can do with our outfits then. Here we go then. So, military fatigue. Let's actually take a look at like some of the resistance and the stuff we can get here with using the ballistic weave. So, the regular outfit, the military fatigues, gives us five energy resistance. Five. That ain't much. That's obviously not much at all. But if we go and add ballistic weave two, we get 30 ballistic resistance and 35 energy. However, rank two, which we can do because we've got armor at rank one, we can get 45 ballistic resistance and 50 energy resistance. That's pretty nuts. Let's go and get that right there. Pretty insane. Okay, but there's some other things we can actually do to ballistic weave things up. Like, we can actually do our sequin dress if we want to. So that if, for argument's sake, and this does happen occasionally, we forget to take off our sequin dress and enter combat, we'll be a bit safer. But also, there's this here, the battered fedora. Yeah, we need a little bit more in order to get this to rank 2. And rank 1, what's that? 30 and 30. And Ballistic Weave Mark 2. Yeah, that's 45 and 45. And I only need one of each more thing. Oh. I hope Dogmeat has one adhesive and one fiberglass on him. Let's go check. 
But just to show the difference here, right now with all of our armor pieces on and stuff, we are getting 43 ballistic resistance and 48 energy resistance. If I go put on my newly armored military fatigues, we get 88 and 98. We've pretty much doubled our ballistic resistance right there. Hey Percy, it's me again. Hello. I need to go buy some stuff from you again. Right. Let's do this then. So we need a fiberglass and an adhesive. Back home then. Right. There we go then. Back onto the armor bench right here. And now we can give ourselves Ballistic Weave Mark 2 for our fedora right there. Excellent stuff. All right. And that gives us 45 and 45. Just in a hat. One piece gives us that. That's pretty insane. If we had max armor, it would give us 110 of each in terms of resistance. That is really no joke. So now our resistances are 133 and 143 versus without the clothing. 43 and 48. That's all our armor is doing. That's all the armor itself is doing. See, it's broken, right? But there we go. We got that there. And also, I don't know why the fedora is the only hat that can have ballistic weave. Like, is it a mistake or something? Is it a joke? That obviously the fedora, you know, the, the most annoying hand in the world, that's the one which gives you the best resistance. I don't know. But hey, we've now got massive, massive resistances right there. And we're going to have a much easier time surviving. But also, I just realized we got the actual local leader too, didn't we? Which means we can also build shops. That's actually not a bad idea, you know. It's not a bad idea. What I think we should do, I don't know if we'll get um, traded emporiums, because yes, they bring in a lot of caps and stuff, but you need rank two of cap collector. We might just go and build like a regular trading shop right here. Because if we do this, then if we need to go buy junk for upgrades and stuff, like I've just been going back and forth between Diamond City all the time, we don't need to do that. You know, we actually have a shop inside Hangman's Alley, which is really, really good. We'll go and pop this down here. Cost 600 caps, so we need to assign someone to do it. Uh, you're a scavenger. Who doesn't have a job? Who needs a job? Uh, you, sir, you don't have a job. Let's go and put you on there. And then you can be our junk trader from now on. All right, he doesn't have anything right now. I presume it takes time for the actual uh, trader Let's to kind of get going and stuff like that. Let's see what you Is that do. right? Let me know what you'd like. Yeah, it's currently zero right now. Okay, so let, let's give it some time for the shop to actually get a bit activated and stuff like that. And we'll also go to sleep because tomorrow we start to track down Kellogg. It's going to take a long time, but it's worth it. So we're back in Diamond City. We actually need to hand in this quest back to Ellie to do with uh, Earl. So let's go and explain that, you know, Earl Doc Croc killed Earl. Anywhere. Doc Crocker killed him during a botched surgery. Crocker killed Earl? He did. Okay, uh, but unfortunately, yeah, the dude killed, killed himself. himself. Couldn't take the guilt. Goodness. I'm sorry you had to go through that. Here, yeah, you better do, Ellie. This. It was pretty traumatic, you know. Sounds but it only took me like 10 minutes to do I'll it, so that's some easy Let money and stuff like that. Gather. Thanks again for closing. Uh -huh. There you go. She got 200 caps for that, and also we got 333 XP for doing that. Okay, cool. Pretty good. And uh, she's actually trying to talk to me about uh, some other cases and stuff like that. But let's not do that. Let's go straight to Nick and go track down Kellogg. Go for it, Nick. You are the picklock master. And I don't have any picklocking skills, so we ain't going to be able to do this. Nope. Okay, well, I'm pretty certain, yep, it's a master lock. So we definitely ain't doing that. Uh, you actually can go back to Mama Murphy and she can tell you where the key is. There is a hidden key which is under the house. However, that key only appears if you talk to Mama Murphy. So what we're going to have to do is go and get ourselves our own key all the way up there. So let's do it. Let's get up the old elevator then. Now, we will need to go and have our speech stuff right here because we will need to either convince the secretary or the mayor to give us the key to someone's house, you know, which is obviously awful, awful city management right there that they just gave away a key. But, you know, it makes sense at the time, I suppose. Get all of our charisma gear on. And up the old elevator. Ah, oh, look at Diamond City. Lovely, lovely place. You know, my only problem with Diamond City is that it seems like its population is too small for it to make sense. There's really not that many people living here, you know? But it's like, apparently the best place in the world. It's like, okay. Doesn't seem to make sense to me. Why does the mayor come out of his office, huh? He's afraid of talking to the press? I bet if I said I was with the Institute... Piper causing trouble running. again. You ever think maybe you could get a man's attention easier if you use softer words, honey? Maybe shout a little less? Oh, that reminds me of this article I'm writing about the mayor's affair with a certain air-headed blonde. Oh, jeez, Pipes. Ooh, who it is? 
what brings you to the mayor's office, huh? Uh, you first, Piper. What are you, what are you doing, here, Piper? Trying to find out why the mayor happens to be meeting with the same suspicious-looking courier hmm. every week. Not now the mayor does do either. that. He does leave Not and go meet someone right. every week. You can follow him and Always stuff like that. It's kind of cool. Anyone has a chance to talk to him. An errand boy from the institute, maybe. Mm -hmm. If you are done crowding the reception area, Miss Piper, the mayor needs to make time for more responsible citizens. <laughs> I was just leaving anyway. Okay, so we've got more speed checks coming up here. Do I have any food which can help? I believe Gwyneth Stout Beer gives you charisma. I do not have any. I should have picked some up in a Earl's flat. You know, he had loads of them there. Oh, okay, that gives you a charisma. Visitors, as long as they aren't members of the press. Did you need help? Hmm. Not... <laughs> if you remember the press, the mayor won't speak to you. That's, that's a problem straight away. Okay, let's talk about Kellogg's house. I need to talk to someone about... Kellogg's old house in the West Stands. Mr. Kellogg's residence? He left town a while ago. We foreclosed on the property and locked it up. If there okay, was so they actually did foreclose on the property. On? It's not like he's you still there. The mayor to hear you out. No guarantees. Okay, um, but it's, it's kind of urgent. I don't have time. I need that key now. Why is finding this key so important to you, honey? Okay, here we go. So I've got to find the baby which is obviously an orange check. There's trust me, you know, in case you don't want to reveal what's going on, you know, in your personal life, or you can bribe her for 250 caps. But uh, let's say find the baby. All I want to do is find my baby. The man who owned that house kidnapped him. You do seem like a sweetheart. All right. I'm just going to leave this key on my desk and forget I put it there. Your baby's lucky he has a mother like you. Mm-hmm. There we go. So she's just going to leave the key on the desk. There we go. Fantastic stuff. So a Kellogg's house key. Don't knock the fan, dog meat. God's sake. That fan. Could you imagine if I'd hit that E button to pick up the key the second dog meat knocked that fan in front of me? Then the guards would have started shooting at me and stuff like that. All right, so let's get down there and open up Kellogg's house. Dog meat. You're in a very dangerous position there, dog. Nope. Be a good boy, dog. Hmm. have something here. Indeed, yes. I mean, this is a good, cool part of the game. Because obviously there's a secret passage right through there. And you've got to hit the button down there in order to open it. Now, when I first played this game, I saw it immediately. However, it's a little bit dumb, you know, that Nick Valentine keeps going, Huh, this doesn't seem right. There must be a, one of these here secret passages, see? Meh. But, uh, yeah, it's a little bit too on the nose, I feel. But, you know... Got to make it so that everyone can solve it, so to speak. I remember I actually did a mod which actually turned this place into a really interesting apartment, made it a lot more interesting. It was a really cool mod, and people on the Nexus actually really enjoyed it, you know. I've, I've got a video of it on the channel still. Just a really cool mod which turned this into a much bigger, more believable apartment, which I really, really liked. It did have some problems, though, to where you actually had to do this quest I'm doing now before activating the mod. Otherwise, this... Otherwise, that button didn't work properly or something along those lines. But anyways, you can download it on PC and Xbox now if you want to. Uh, it wasn't on PlayStation, unfortunately, because, you know, custom assets and all that. But hey, let's go. Hey, Valentine. Why don't you search that table? Then we'll compare notes. Yeah, again, why don't you search the table? Like, the table, where the obvious hint is. But yeah, he's got lots of really cool stuff here. You know, he's got lots of ammo and stuff. He's got some good food and things. Lots of Nuka stuff. Really, really nice. Some brain bombs and stuff and sugar bombs. Lots of dirty water, purified water. Oh, don't lockpick him. That's pick lock him. That's very bad. And uh, what's in the gun thing? So, okay, okay, not bad. You know, he actually had a grenade and stuff. Not bad. 45 ammo. And no. grab all of the food. All of Kellogg's favorite things. Yes, yes, out of the way, you sausage. There we go. Take the water and that. Excellent. Anyways, here's, here's the hint, though. Gwyneth oh, there's Gwyneth Stout. And Quite also the San Francisco Sunlight. Cigars. San Francisco Sunlights. Hmm, interesting brand. Is it? Lead us anywhere on its own. Though. Is it an interesting brand? Is it implied that you can only get it in San Francisco? Why don't we use dog meat to find out where it is? This is the most cartoonish part of the entire hey, game. not a bad idea. Some dogs out there in the Commonwealth can track a man for miles. Why don't you go fetch him and let him have a whiff? Uh, before you head out, uh, I know this is personal business. You have to face Kellogg on your own. Just say so. 
Uh, yeah, Nick, uh, I'm not going to take you with me because you actually minus my carrying capacity Fine. if you come with me. If I have a companion with the exception of dog meat, it obviously takes away my carry capacity because of a lone wanderer perk. So there we go. There we go. We've got Nick Valentine available as our companion right there. And if we go outside, good old doggo meat is waiting for us like a good boy he is. There he is. Hello, dog meat. Get the scent, boy. Go sniff the cigar. And let's go get Kellogg. Get Kellogg, boy. Take me to that son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there we go. That's getting a clue done. We've got some XP for doing that. And you know what, actually, people? Looking at the time, I think we need to end this video here. Everyone, thank you very much for watching this video. I'm just going to slowly walk home and talk to you guys. But I think it's time to head home because we've been recording for quite a long time now and it would be nice to actually save the game and stuff because this video is going to be a bit too long if I do Kellogg as well. So we're back in Hangman's Alley, people. Thank you very much, everyone, to watching this video. I know I said we killed Kellogg this video, but we actually did a lot more than I expected in this video with the unlocking the Ballistic Weave and stuff like that and doing the mission with Doc Crocker. So, you know, time has actually run out a little bit here. So thank you very much for watching this video. In the next episode, we will go and get Kellogg. We'll go and kill Kellogg. That'll be a big part of a story done. And I really can't wait to go and do that video with you guys. So thank you very much, everyone, who's been watching this video. Remember to check out the next episode of Fallout 4 Vanilla Survival next Friday at 8.30 BST. And also remember, 8.30 BST every Wednesday and every Sunday, we have Fallout 76 Permadeath. And that's a fantastic series. And look, he's now got all junk and stuff like that in here. So we can just get junk from here instead. Thank you very much for watching the video, everyone. I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye, gang. Bye-bye. 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 Thank you to all of our YouTube members and Patreon supporters. Special thank you to our Level 3 YouTube members, which currently consists of Psycho Girl, Katrina McKenna, and Raven's Roost.